right everyone what is up i hope you guys are doing really well it's been a while since i put out some content i've just been really busy with stuff um anyways i'm on a project i've been fiddling with it for some time and i bought a mcgraw um, needle scaler it's a micro needle scaler from harbor freight um i think I think it's the one that replaced their central pneumatic one. But anyways, <clears throat> when I I got it, it looked interesting because I've had the full size central pneumatic needle scaler for some time. And I'll show it to you guys. And I've put several hours of wear on it. I've taken it out in the field to do uh, repairs on rock crushers and stuff like that. And it's, it's just been great. Um, anyways, let me get you guys turned around and I'll talk about this project and we'll talk about needle scalers and then um hopefully we can get something set up where i can do like a you know like a really good half-assed job at doing a review and a demo um so let me get you guys turned around sit tight all right so this is the full size needle scaler as you can see it's it's pretty well worn um whoa it's it's been really good it's um it's still it's still holding up just fine and so this one here, as you can see, just to do like a, a side by side comparison, um, let me. So there, it's it's quite a bit smaller, eh, probably like I'd say five to six inches shorter. The barrel is a lot smaller, so you can get into tighter spots a lot easier with this. So let me kind of tell you about this project that I have here. This is a. This goes to a restaurant. It's in downtown Phoenix. It's for uh, a restaurant called The Vig on Fillmore. Um, if any of you guys are familiar with Phoenix, you've, you're, it's kind of a trendy spot. So anyways, this ap appears to be like some type of an Ikea um, cabinet thing. So what happened was they wanted to convert this table into a cabinet. And so basically, so I filled in from the backside and the inside all the, all the sheet metal work here that you've done. It's all 16 gauge. We got the back panels in, the side panels. Um, but as you can see, this thing has been sitting out in the weather for, for many, many, many years. Um, and so what happened was in this channel, they use like some eighth inch by one and a half inch um, channel iron to support the wood. And um, so over the years, it's just filled up with restaurant and like, or rainwater and like restaurant residue, like dressings and sauces and all that kind of stuff. And apparently all that stuff is really acidic. And so there is a phenomenon called oxide jacking. And um, check it out on Google. There's a lot of research about it. Um, so anyways, it what happened was the layers of rust, eventually it just it pushes out the material and it causes warping and distortion. It's a phenomenon that is inherent with rebar and it will over time it will destroy concrete. So anyway, so here's so, and then I'm working on the doors right here. This is the doors. This, so I'm, I'm re, I'm, I made a complete door frame assembly. These are the doors. I'm using steel piano hinges. Uh, I believe they're called quarter inch piano hinges. And then I have, I have panels cut that go inside uh, the frames here once I get everything welded up. So anyways, let's get into um this 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 new needle skiller it's, it's brand new i've had it sitting in my uh my welding trailer for for probably about six months and i just now i'm getting it out um so let me get you guys set up and we'll just we'll just maybe we'll see if we can see how well we can scale some of this heavy rust off of this corner bracket here and then if you can see down in here if we can break up some of that rust in that channel there and and blow it out um it's kind of a, a very elementary demo and review um so let's let's just see how things go all right you guys also i'm i'm running my air pressure at about 95 pounds per square square inch sorry i've had some oral surgery so i'm not that i'm a great linguist or anything but i'm struggling um, anyways, let's uh, let's check this out.
not bad pretty good um i don't know what else to say i mean you know I, it's like i don't i don't want to sit here and ramble um let, let's uh lift you guys up and let's see if we what we can take out of that channel Alright you guys, um, some really nice flakes of rust came out of there, kind of rattled a bunch of this out of it. Um, for, for like an initial like open box, something that's fresh out of the box, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Um, but then again like everything's still sharp and you know, this I think this thing has a lot of long term potential on it, like seriously you guys, just just keep your stuff oiled like like keep it wet if that makes any sense and it'll last you a long time i've had this one here for many many years um and it's been great you could just you can see how far down the needles i've i've worn them um and and i i rely on this thing like quite a bit they're they're, they're awesome for doing like surface prep or stuff like that or just removing like mud and grease like on heavy equipment like i they're phenomenal um, anyways, I think, I think it, it's, it's a great product for, for what it is. Um, I'll, this is one of those things where I'll have to come back around to it, like in a couple of years or whatever. Um, I think that'll do it for this one. Um, sit tight. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for joining me. If you're curious on a project similar to this, if it helps you guys out, um, I charged $1,100 to do this project. Um, you know, just, just to give you guys a baseline of, of what's out there. Cause I think a lot of people that try to start up stuff in their backyard, they have a nasty habit of just selling themselves short. Uh, so I'm going to try to help you guys out as much as possible. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoy my content, if it's helpful, uh, please consider subscribing and I will try to get some more stuff out as, as I can. Um, thanks again. Have a great weekend. Peace out.